Hello, my name is Wildstag and thank you for tuning in to another used book review. Today we will be covering Charles DeLint's Wolf Moon. Charles DeLint is a prolific fantasy author. A lot of his fantasy is in the Celtic style fantasy, kind of the fey in fairy kind of thing. Deals a lot with bards, though usually they're called harpers in his stories. This book specifically I bought for one dollar. So it was probably bought here in New Mexico at a local um, library surplus store, but I can't be certain about that. This book is about a werewolf who upon learning he was one was driven out of the house and since childhood he has been he's been on the run he's found a home for a few months and then felt it was uncomfortable and he was about to get run out of town and then he does run the opening chapter of this book involves kern the werewolf in wolf form running from a magic musician a harper as they're called uh, the Harper has summoned a um, creature to chase him, one that is unnatural and kind of rejected in a way by nature. It's alien to trees that seem to um, shun its presence. The ground shrinks under its preternatural tread. It's a frag, frog. It's a nightmarish creature. And it is summoned by and controlled by the Harper. The Harper is chasing a wolf because wolves have been eradicated in the area for hundreds of years. And so getting a fresh wolf pelt would be um, a matter of pride as a hunter. And so he's chasing Kern. Kern eventually gets to a cliff and tosses himself into a, uh, a river beneath the cliff. He washes up down the river and then some little fairy creatures uh, put him on a raft and bring him to a nearby inn because they think that the Tinker can take care of him. The Tinker is, in Charles DeLint's stories, Tinkers are kind of Romani in a way. A lot of the stereotypes of the uh, Romani people are kind of put on the tinkers, but in a traveling merchant sense. In any case, the tinker who owns this inn is currently gone. He's on a, he's out to sell his wares. Meanwhile, I forget if it's a niece or a granddaughter or what takes care of him at the inn. It, this, this book is partially a romance, partially a fantasy story. It's very domestic fantasy in a way. The first half of the story is about Kern finding ways to be comfortable in this home. The like the, the loyal dog ends up hating him perhaps because it senses that he is a werewolf and he doesn't want it to reveal anything off about him. So he makes a deal with that dog. Kern eventually socializes with all of the people, the workers there, and becomes friends with them over the course of a couple of weeks. And then plot happens. The Harper has shown up in the valley and is at a neighboring village at that village's inn and public house and is playing music that people can dance to. A couple of the workers uh, go there for the evening and enjoy him and tell everyone about how good it is, how good this Harper is, how they, he makes his music makes them feel, and then the whole group goes, and he recognizes the Harper for what he is, a the, the person that hunted him down. And so now Kern has this sense of unease that he's about to be chased away, that this this Harper is chasing him, hounding him. Shortly after he Kern goes to that dance, 
a villager is killed and mutilated by a by a wolf the harper claims himself to be a wolf hunter and decides he's gonna capture this wolf in dungeons and dragons the bard is kind of seen as a good thing uh, they specialize in magic that affects the mind through direct control or through illusion and there's a lot of stereotypes about the the horny bard that goes from inn to inn and finds a girl or a guy to sleep with. There's also the stereotype of like the the bard being kind of proud and vain. The harper in this story is all of that, but in a way played kind of straight, which makes him very evil. His vanity, his pride, he hates losing he hates when his prey gets away from him all of that is kind of evil when played properly the harper inserts himself into the community of that inn and that's where the conflict the the meat of the story happens i will say i wasn't expecting some parts of this book the story caught me by surprise a couple times and i really liked that it's a really interesting book full of magic and fairy and an overlying fear of the unknown someone who seems tame being wild that's a very Christian mindset about wolves. I think this is a really good book. It says it's $6.99 on the back cover. This was back in 2004. It's been 15, 16 years since then. No, 18. 18 years since 2004. So it might be $10, $12 now. But it's a really good book. If you can find it used, check it out. If you find any other books by Charles Delint, check them out. He's a very fun author to read. His stories are character driven. There's not too much violence in them, but it's it's a very fun kind of fantasy to read. So yeah, if you have the chance, check out Wolf Moon. My name is Wildstag. Thank you for tuning in to another used book review.